Hello, I'm Larry Cooter, part of the Tennessee Assault Crew, where we uh, break necks and cash checks. But you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Here we are at the Springfield water plant. Let's go see if we can catch a trout. Catch any? No. Uh-oh. Well, I asked that guy if he caught any. He said no. That's not a good sign. Okay. Hello. Is that a boxer? Yeah. And we're just gonna let it drift and feel for a bite. We're leaving empty-handed. I'm going to have to come up with something else. Maybe a local spot, maybe a studio video. I don't know. Well, the trout fishing didn't exactly work out. So we're over here at the log and the boat ramp. And we're going to try fishing with my favorite lure this winter, the Salmo Minnow. Except it's missing the front treble hook. See that? They're broken. I'm going to try and replace it with a treble hook from this. We have a Cream Fishing Favorites crankbait and it has small hooks just like the Selmo. Let's compare the hook size. Hey, that's pretty close. And they're swinging in tandem. All right, let's take one off of here. I got these pliers and they got a little tooth up front to help split an O-ring or a split ring. Let's see if we can get one of these off of here. This is Lucy the Lorematic Computer from the Lore Love Podcast. Realistic. Definition. Able to see things as they really are and to deal with them in a practical way. Just like realistic fishing. Keep it realistic. It's probably going to be easier to remove this rear hook. Almost. All right. Here's my replacement treble hook. Now we need to do the same thing with this front hook. Let's get this thing off of here. I think it's going to be easier to split this ring with my thumbnail. It's just too small to split with those pliers. It can be a little bit tedious, so be ready. All right, got it started. Now I just need to work it. Work it around. There we go. There's my broken treble hook. All right, let's, let's try the pliers again. We're going to try and split this O-ring. It's a really small O-ring. It's kind of hard to get a hold of. But we got it split open now. I'm just going to hold it in place with the pliers. And I'm going to thread the new treble hook onto this open end right here.
Now we're going to try and work it up the ring. We're just going to walk it bit by bit until it snaps into place. Again, you want to take your time. This whole process can be a little bit tedious. We're almost there. There we go, snapped into place. Got a new hook on there. Let's give it a try. Let's get it tied on. I'm gonna use an improved clinch knot. And we're ready to go. We got a new hook on there. Let's see if we can find a fish willing to go for it. Let's test it out. Can we find something over here? Anyone home? Delicious Selmo minnow coming through. Nice shiny hook on there. Anyone? Maybe. Maybe I saw a flash right there. Might have been my lure. I kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye. Come on, I want to test out my new hook. Someone grab it. Just fan casting the boat ramp. That means I'm casting here, casting here, casting here, casting here, casting here, casting here. Just trying to cover water to find a fish. You know, I break my hook when there's tons of fish around and when I decide to fix it, nothing. Ain't that just the way it goes? One more cast up here, then we're gonna try the log. Let's find something over here. Where are all the fish? Got him. First fish of the day, right here. Skipjack. Oh, it's a nice one too. That's a really nice one. Oh yeah. Let's see how my new hook did. There he is, hooked in the mouth. The rear hook hooked underneath this gill plate. There we go. First fish right here. Nice, nice 12 inch skipjack. My new hooks worked. We're gonna let him go, see if we can get another one. A Little bit tricky today. This is Retro from Retro Bassin, but you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There we go. The cream hook is a success on my Selmo minnow. It's just the right size. That lure was a dollar, so it's cheap. So far, so good.
fish. Last one. Here we go. Let's get him up here. Oh, wow. He fell off the hook. That is a jumbo. I got him. I got him. Monster. Monster skipjack here. Let's get a good look at him. Whoa. All right. There we go. There we go. We got like a 13 incher, maybe a little bit longer. Look at the girth. Look at the thickness. Inch and a half thick, 13 inches long. I bet that's a one pound skipjack right here. That is a beauty. He is raring to go. Let's let him go. Last fish of the day. And he swam right back to me. Let's give him a little toss. Whew. That was a nice one. Well, there we go. My new hook seems to be the right size. I was able to catch a few fish on it. I think it'll do all right. And there we have it. I caught two fish today on the Selmo Minnow where I replaced the hook. I took it off a cheap cream crankbait and it seems to be working just fine. The trout fishing sucked, the skipjack fishing was okay, and that's just how it goes sometimes. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.